Hello fellow Helldivers, welcome back. The Exosuit has finally dropped, and boy, is this thing an absolute powerhouse. Each Patriot Exosuit comes equipped with a heavy machine gun and a rocket launcher that can devastate mass groups of enemies in a short time, and with its thick armor plate, it can sustain and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the biggest threats the game offers to players. However, not everything seems as it is when you're using the suit, as it has some downsides to it, which will require specific thinking beforehand. So today's guide will go over the things you need to know about using it and how to properly operate it. The exosuit is designed for dealing with large groups of enemies in one area or dealing with bigger threats on the hand. When you've expanded your other stratagem and have several charges and bio tires approaching you, this is where the exosuit will excel the most in as it's meant to deal with these threats there and then. Like everything else in the game, there is a good tactical use for that, that not many players are using to its fullest. For example, if you're dealing with the geological survey missions, you have to sit there and defend the objective until it's done. While waiting, you have enemies spawning on your location, and on higher difficulties, this is where things can get really hectic. With the Exosuit, it can deal with the threats when you protect the target, and also protect your teammates who may need to kickstart it. Another example is when you need the evac, and you have a 2-4 to four minute wait time until evac comes. Depending on your situation, you may need to call this down to defend the area until your evac comes, and this ultimately will save you time and stratagems that you may need for more important things. Basically, use this for dealing with hordes that push on a static location. So, the Exosuit has a ton of firepower that is capable of dealing with all sorts of enemies on the hand, but this all comes at a price. The following ammo you have is the only ammo you can use and you cannot replenish it if you run out. One missile can strip a charger's armor, and a few are enough to down a Bio Titan. This is where the strategy main role starts to become important, as you can't just throw it down and use it to mow through all types of enemies with ease. Every shot you make will cost you the longer your engagement goes on for, so only use the strategy when the time calls and make your shots count. Now, the suits are relatively fast enough to be used to navigate around the map if desired, but at the same time, it's also quite slow enough to where a charger or automatron turret can one-shot you. You need to be aware that although it may look good for travelling, you're actually placing yourself in a really bad spot, as you will be surrounded quite easily if you don't have any ways of fighting back. Only place one down if you're protecting an objective or you really need to lower the heat. So you know how most stratagems have a long cooldown to it? Well, your exosuit, once destroyed, has a whopping 10 minute cooldown to it. Uh, this shows the importance of using them as they can be a game changer in the right moment, but one small mistake can be costly. However, your ship that brings them in can be targeted by enemies as well and thus can be destroyed before they get dropped off. Make sure you land this in a safe and clear area to where there are no enemies nearby who may disrupt you. Now many players might know this already, but while in your exosuit, you can't use your stratagems while in the suit itself and this causes a high risk of playing when you need to exit and use them on the fly. However, if you really want to make your strategies count, then using the machine gun turrets, mortars, auto cannon turrets, EMS mortars, etc. The emplacement stratagems will be a huge benefit since they can be placed down in whatever given area you like and will function well without your support. Using it on a smaller map is where the following combo will excel the most in, and honestly, it's where I believe the exosuit will best fit in as well. So there we have it. I hope you all enjoyed the video and the guide going over the exosuit, which should help you understand where it stands in today's placement. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub while here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.